This video is all about the sheer power of Mother Nature and its weathering erosion capabilities, especially on a coastline that has softer sedimentary rock as its composition. Let's check out the landforms and features that this creates. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Firstly, we have to discuss and consider the bedrock geology of the coastline. Now, if it's a harder igneous or metamorphic rock, then the rate or the speed of weather and erosion will be reduced or decreased. However, if it's a sedimentary rock that's a particularly softer sedimentary rock made of softer minerals, then the rate and speed of weather and erosion will increase. And this will also increase based on the amount of joints, joint systems, bed in planes, and surface area exposed to the weathering and erosional agents. So in this case, we're taking the coastline of Southern England in Europe, and in particular, a part of Dorset Jurassic Coast, which is a World Heritage Site. And these rocks in particular are called Old Harry Rocks. And these are part of the headland of Studland, and they kind of protrude out into the English Channel between Dorset and the Isle of Wight. Now the geology of these cliffs, based on this beautiful pale white limestone variety, is chalk. Now chalk is a softer sedimentary rock that forms in deeper marine environments from the accumulation of calcium carbonate shells of marine organisms. And these are exposed due to sea level changes and the cliffs are formed through erosion and weathering and also sea level rise over geologic time. So from this one image, we can look at a progressional system and sequence of events that happens along the coastlines. This is showing you a timeline of what happened to create the current situation we are looking at right here. So in this image, we have both a stomp, stacks, a sea arch, and multiple sea caves, and a headland on the left. And the far right stomp is the ending of the rock sequence or the rock formations. Now, if we go back in time and rewind the geologic clock, you'll see that the headland extended across this entire image from left to right. And this headland was obviously formed from the same rock, which is chalk. And over time, it has been broken down through weathering and erosion. So this extended headland has been broken down in a sequence of events that we're seeing right here in this image. First, the wave action, hydraulic action, weather and erosion, time, temperature, seasonality, sea level change is going to create multiple sea caves. And these caves will progressively get larger and larger and larger with more time through weather and erosion. And these sea caves will incrementally increase in size due to the increased or consistent amount of weathering and erosion to remove the chalk from the cave to make the cave larger. Then, once the cave gets to be a certain size, it produces a natural arch that's going to connect the two sides of or the two walls of the sea cave. And eventually, as the cave gets larger and larger and larger, the arch becomes thinner. And eventually, through gravity, the arch will collapse and create a separation between the headland and this new section of cliff that has been separated and isolated and broken away from the headland due to the collapse of the natural sea arch. And this will continue along the headland of this coastline, creating multiple caves, arches, and then, and these will form a series of stacks. Now these stacks are the isolated and separated bits of the headland or cliff formed from the collapse of a sea arch, which would then separate this newly formed slice of cliff or headland that you see in this image that's separated. Now these stacks are usually narrow, tall sections of cliff and are separated by a small amount of water from the other 
stacks or from the headland itself. Once the stack is formed from the collapse of the sea arch, weather and erosion continues to act upon this stack and eroding it, making it smaller, and by the base where the water is and the hydraulic action, you have the increased rate of erosion and weathering, forming a narrow base, and this will cause it to tumble over, collapse, or disintegrate into a smaller piece of the headland, or separated headland, which we then call a stump, which we see on the right-hand side. That stump will continue to erode and weather due to the agents applied on it over time and eventually be eroded and become small enough to go under the surface of the ocean and technically disappear from sight. So this image is showing a sequential step-by-step -step timeline of what happens to a coastline when exposed to the water and the weather and erosion agents over time. And this is especially more evident in softer rock coastlines like we have here in Dorset, England. This is the Earth Science Classroom. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe, like, and share. And if you want more content and videos on Earth Science, please check out my channel.